money. Money. How about some tips today on purchasing new construction? It's a crazy market out there for all of you home buyers, and maybe it's an opportunity to get into some of the new construction sites and see if it's a little less competitive. I don't know if my arena is the mortgage side of it, but I uh, want to step in and talk on the real estate side and just a little bit about new construction, some things to think about. So find a great agent. It's really important that you're working with an agent that has experience with new construction because it is different than, uh, than resale. Now, a site agent, just to remember that the site agent works for the builder or the listing company that represents the builder. So the benefit for that is they know the structure of the offer and and maybe how to to appeal to the builder. The downside is if there's any issues that come up, they represent the builder. So keep that in mind. Outside agent is completely representing you and has no ties to the actual builder or to the listing agent that's representing that builder. So tip, ask your agent to check the sales registration policy before you go. Uh, Your agent may be able to uh, register you online, so you have uh, the ability to visit the model at your convenience, or you can arrange a time to look at the community with your agent separately. And that's, again, if you're using an outside agent, which I suggest that that's uh, the best thing to do, because again, if there's any challenge and things that comes up, you want to make sure you have your own representation. Now, be creative d- during the negotiations. Builders don't like to drop the prices. Uh, builders are often reluctant to set precedent for negotiating prices since future buyers are going to be de- coming into that development. And builders are often more likely to negotiate in the back end since closing costs and upgrades are a less obvious way to, to kind of sweeten that deal. Now, in this market, you're not seeing a lot of negotiation because because of what's happening with the lack of inventory. But uh, just having that understanding of builders, it's really about price and setting the precedence for uh, future buyers that are coming in. Now, a uh, tip if you're considering with the offer, with the offer, ask your agent to do the, the research on the builder and what he's done uh, in the past for recent sales. Uh, get everything in writing. So don't sign anything until everything has been negotiated, agreed upon, and written into the contract. If you're considering purchasing a home that is not yet complete, it's very important to spell out how the home's going to be finished. What will happen if the con- with the construction if it's not completed on time, the deadlines for decisions that will occur through the process, verbal com- conversations are not going to get you anywhere. Closing date's really important because new construction, especially when it's not com- if it's not completed, you've got an interest rate that you're locking in, so you want to make sure that you are locked in for the period of time that you really need. And no matter how bad that builder wants to close that loan on time because he's paying interest until it closes, traditionally new construction always gets delayed. So you want to make sure that you're covered on that lock period of time. And then what happens if you're not? Who's responsible for that? Uh, what you see, it's it's always what you get. So the fit and the finish of the model home doesn't necessarily represent what comes standard. Often the model home Obviously, what you see isn't always what you get. So it is the model home. So you want to be cautious and understand that the there's, there's other uh, options that you might be looking at to purchase on the home to make it more appealing. So keep in mind, again, that model is going to be represented at the best look of that home. So make sure that you're looking at all the options and understanding what the cost associated uh, to that home is. Now, do your research on the builder. Uh, visit other developments and talk with other homeowners if you've got the opportunity to do that. Uh, a lot of times... Uh, a real estate agent that doesn't represent the builder again, an agent that's outside of that, they are actually working with more than one buyer in that uh, area. Maybe it's an area that they focus on and a community that they focus on so you can get an idea of other buyers that have purchased and see the experience that they've had with that builder. Ask your agent if they've worked with the builder in the past and are they aware of their reputation. Uh, get some information there because that is going to matter. Get a home, get the home inspected. New homes have problems as well. Hire an inspector to make uh, and make sure everything's safe and up to code. So even though the home has passed permit inspections, an independent verification will qualify the inspector. Uh, It's it's well worth your money to make sure that you do that. Now, on new construction, inspectors also normally will have with a a one year that they'll actually come back out and relook at the home again to make sure um, that there's no issues that come up. And again, that's with almost any inspector will do that. So make sure that you ask about that for your new, new construction. And again, always get a home inspection, new construction or not. 
Now, find out what's covered. Many new homes come with warranties from the builder, but not all warranties are created equal. So know what it is and what it covers for how long. Many builders use third-party warranty companies. In some cases, the manufacturer has certain products like windows. Uh, they, may, they may separately warranty or guarantee, and the builder might refer all issues for those components to the manufacturer instead of handling the issues directly. Now, the builder should be able to provide you details of which part of the home is covered Um, by which policy. So tip, ask your agent to obtain warranty information early in the process so uh, your offer can be protected or prepared to address any concerns up front. So looking to the future, check with the uh, city to see what the plan for the surrounding area is if you're purchasing new construction. Uh, If you have a view, you want to make sure that that view is going to still be there uh, maybe five years down the road. Most builders put the responsibility back to you as the buyer to be aware of the neighborhood and the community dy- dynamics related to other developments in the area, like traffic planning, uh, development of neighborhood parcels. Uh, many new communities also have homeowners associations that can impact your potential new home sell as well. So make sure you look into that. Uh, do your homework on the lenders. So don't automatically assume that the builder's lender is going to be the op- best option for you. Sometimes the builder lender is going to be the best best option. Sometimes they have incentives that are attached with the builder that you need to use their preferred lender, but always get opinions outside of the builder's uh, represented lender because sometimes those uh, fees are actually worked into what you're getting in the overall mortgage. So you want to make sure that you're just doing your comparison. Um, So there's just some things to think about if you're looking at purchasing new construction. Again, it's a crazy market out there for all of you buyers. Great market for you as a seller. But as a buyer, don't give up. Keep the fight. You'll get a home. You've just got to be prepared for what's happening in this market with a lack of inventory. Look to your real estate expert to make sure that you've got the best advice possible on how to strategize your offer so that you can be competitive and ultimately uh, win in this uh, market that we're in. Coming up next on the Money Hour, do you own a business? And my next guest is going to be talking to you about how to prepare that business for sale if you do and you're thinking about that. I have Frank Savali with the Cascade team right here at 1150 AM KKNW after this short break. 